Good day everyone, I am Mark Francis P. Venus, and together with my partner Alvanja Legaspi, we will be discussing to you the characteristic function. A characteristic function is a function defining membership in a set that assigns the value 1 to the members of a given set and the value 0 to its non-members. So for us to fully understand the definition, let us look at the example below. Let u be the universal set and let a be a subset of u or the universal set. As we can recall from our previous discussion on sets, we were taught how to represent set via diagram and this illustration right here is an example of it. The characteristic function of A, denoted with a capital letter X and a subscript A, or a small, small letter F and a subscript A, is defined for each X that is an element of U or the universal set by having uh, this read as the characteristic function of an element x in a given set a which has two possible outputs one if x is an element of a and zero if it's not the, d the domain of the characteristic function of a given set in this case is a is the universal set u and it will always be the same case with the other given set the range is from 0 to 1, and for the characteristic function, we will be only using the integers 0 and 1 for the range. Here we have our first sample problem. Let u be a set containing the elements a, b, c, d, and e, and a as a set containing the elements a, b, and e. Then, the characteristic function of a is defined by the diagram below. We can see that the letters A, C, uh, A, B, and E are matched with the value 1, whereas B and C are matched with the value 0. It is because the, value, uh, the elements B and C are not elements of the set A, which compose only of the elements A, B, and E. And on the right side, it says surjection. If we call our previous lesson from the previous reporter, a surjection or an onto function is a function wherein every element on the right side, our range in this case, uh, has at least one element match on the left side or the domain. We can see on the diagram that every element on the right side or this range is right here, the 0 and 1, are connected to at least one element on the left side or on the domain. As you can see, 1 is connected to A, B, and E, and 0 is connected to B and C. That's why we identify it as surjection or an undo function. So for our second example, let U be a set containing the elements A and B, and set A containing the element A only. Then the characteristic function of A is defined by the diagram below. We can see that A is matched with the value 1 and B is matched with the value 0. Since only the element A, this one, is under the set A. This diagram is a bijection since it, it is clearly seen on the diagram that it is a one-to-one -one function and at the same time an onto function. Just like how we remember it from our previous discussions with the previous reporters. Now for the application. One of the applications of the characteristic function is in representing sets in computer. To represent a set in a computer, the elements of the set must be arranged in a sequence. Aside from using zeros and ones to represent ordinary numbers in binary form, it is also used to identify true or false in computer logic, wherein we use zero for false and one for true. When a universal set U is finite, say U is a set containing the characteristic functions of the values 1, 2, and so on and so forth, and A is a subset of U, then the characteristic function assigns 1 to an element that belongs to A and 0 to an element that does not belong to A. Thus, the characteristic function of A can be represented as a sequence of zeros and ones. And we will find out about it on the next example. If the universal set is finite the, and we let u as a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and set a containing the elements 1 and 2 
a set B containing the elements 2, 4, and 6, and set C containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, the characteristic function of the element X on a given set A corresponds to the sequence 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Since we are, uh, since we are given that the elements on set A is only 1 and 2, that's why in this part right here, uh, 1 and 2 is true, so that is a 1, and the rest are zeros. Same goes with B and C, wherein we can see that B only has 2, 4, 6, so the sequence goes like 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And C, since it, it all has the element of the universal set, the sequence goes like 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And for the last example, let U be a set containing the elements, uh, the integers from 0 to 9, and set A containing the elements 0, 2, 5, 6, 8, and 9. So the characteristic function for this corresponds to the sequence 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1. Since this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and the only... Uh, no, integers present on set A are 0, 2, 5, 6, 8, and 9. Now for the uh, properties, let's have uh, Anton Jan reporting. So good afternoon everyone. My name is Anton Jan Legaspi and for the continuation of the report. So the characteristic functions of subsets satisfy the following properties. First, property 1. The characteristic function of A intersection B is equal to the product of the characteristic function of A and characteristic function of B. For the property 2, the characteristic function of A union B is equal to the sum of the characteristic function of A and characteristic function of B minus its product. For the third property, the characteristic function of the symmetric difference of A and B is equal to the sum of the characteristic function of A and B minus 2 times the characteristic function of A and characteristic function B. So to prove this, let's use an example. For case number 1, for property 1, if x is not in A and x is not in B, then in this example, it referred to the element 1. So the characteristic function of A intersection B of 1 is 0 because 1 does not belong in the shaded region. Then let's prove this referring to this right hand side. So the characteristic function of A of 1 is 0 because 1 does not belong in set A. Likewise in set B, the characteristic function of B of 1 is also 0. So therefore, its product is 0 and it is true for case number 1. For the case number 2, if x is in A but x is not element in B, then let's show this if it is true. So the characteristic function of A intersection B of 2 is 0 because element 2 does not belong on this shaded region. And let's uh, prove this again if it is true, you're referring to the right hand side. The characteristic function of A of 2 is 1 because in set A, it contains an element 2. For the characteristic function of B of 2 is 0 because set B does not contain an element 2. Therefore, its product is 0 and it means that it is true for case number 2. For case number 3, if x is not in A but x is element in B, then the characteristic function of A intersection B of 4 is 0. So in this case, it refers to the element 4. Since 4 does not belong in this intersection, which means that it is 0. So let's find out if it is equal to the left hand side. So the characteristic function of A of 4 is 0 because in set A does not contain an element 4. For the characteristic function of B of 4, it is 1 because element 4 belongs to set B. So therefore, its product is 0. And it is also true for case number 3. For case number 4, if x is in A and is also in B. So let's show this. So the characteristic function of A intersection B of 3 is 1 because this case refers to the element 3. And this element is in the intersection of set A and set B in this shaded region. So let's prove this if it is equal to the right hand side. So the characteristic function of A of 3 is 1 because set A contains an element 3. And the characteristic function of B of 3 is also 1 because element 3 is also in, in set B. So therefore, it is true for the case number 4. And this means that since the four cases are true, then it satisfies for the first property. Okay, for the property 2, we have here the characteristic function of A union B is equal to the sum of the characteristic function of A and characteristic function of B minus 
its product for the case number one once again let's prove this using an example so if x is not in a then at the same time x is not in b in this case it refers to element one for the characteristic function of a union b of one is zero because one does not belong on this shaded region so let's prove this if it is true uh, referring to the right hand side for the characteristic function of a of one is zero the characteristic function of b of one is also zero then its product is zero therefore it is zero it is true for case number one for the case number two if x is element in a but x is not an element of b so it refers to element two on this example so we have here the characteristic function of a union b of two is one because element two belongs to the shaded region so let's show this if it is equal to one using the right hand side so the characteristic function of a of two is one because a element two is in set a and for the characteristic function of b of two is zero and its product so therefore one minus zero is one so therefore it is true for the case number three if x is not in a but x is an element of b so in this case it referred to the element 4 so uh, what we have here the characteristic function of a union b of 4 is 1 once again because element 4 is inside in this shaded region so what we have here the characteristic function of a of 4 is 0 because set a does not contain element 4 then the characteristic function of b of 4 is 1 then its product is 0 so uh, 1 minus 0 is 1 so therefore it is true for case number 3 for the case number 4 if x is in a then at the same time x is in b so basically it referred to the element 3 so let's show this if it is equal to 1 the characteristic function of a of 3 is 1 then the characteristic function of b of 3 is also 1 then its product is 1 then 1 plus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so therefore it is true for the case number 4 and therefore since it is true for 4 cases then it is satisfied for the second property for the property 3 we have here the characteristic function of the symmetric difference of a and b is equal to the characteristic function of a plus characteristic function of b minus 2 times its product so the idea of the symmetric difference is that you first get their union then subtract its intersection so basically the shaded region here is the symmetric difference of a and b so let's back to our topic so for case number one if x is not in a and x is not in b so it referred to element one so for the characteristic function of the symmetric difference of a and b of one is zero because one does not belong in the shaded region so let's uh, show this if it is equal to the right hand side so the characteristic function of a of 1 is 0 the characteristic function of b of 1 is 0 minus 2 times 0 times 0 so it is 0 and it is true for case number 1 for case number 2 if x is in a but x is not in b then it refers to the element 2 okay so what we have here the characteristic function of the symmetric difference of a and b of 2 is 1 okay because it belongs to the shaded region so, uh, let's show this again using the right hand side so the characteristic function of a of 2 is 1 plus the characteristic function of b of 2 is 0 minus 2 times 1 times 0 is uh, 1 so uh, it is true for case number 2 for case number 3 if x is not in a but x is in b then it referred to the element 4 so the characteristic function of the symmetric difference of a and b of 4 is 1 so let's show this if it is true if it's equal to right hand side so the characteristic function of a of 4 is 0 the characteristic function of b of 4 is 1 because it belongs to this shaded region minus 2 times the characteristic function of a and the characteristic function of b so it is 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so basically in the case number 3 it is also true for case number 4 if x is in a and x is in b then it refers to the element 3 so what we have here the characteristic function of the symmetric difference of a and b of 3 is 0 because it does not belong to the shaded region so let's show this if it is equal to the right hand side so the characteristic function of a of 3 is 1 element 3 belongs to element 1 and the characteristic function of b of 3 is also 1 because 3 is also belong in b minus 2 times 1 times 1 so what we have here 1 times 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 is 0 therefore it is true for the case number 4 since it is true for the four cases which means that the property number 3 is satisfied so i guess this will be the end of our presentation and i hope you learned something from it thank you